the moment that you've all been waiting for. I'm going to go ahead and introduce Abner Ronan, everybody's favorite friend on boxing, uh, to come out and preview what we've been working on for the past six months or so, uh, pouring our blood, sweat, and tears into this to make this the best damn media center we've ever seen. So with that, Abner, come on out. Thank you. And uh, to everybody that is watching online, it's also being streamed on live stream. And on Boxy, you can watch it as well. There's a Boxy application, and it's powered by ClickSet, so you can actually chat with people while you're watching. So last time we had technical difficulties. I hope this time it all uh, works well. So, beta. <laughs> Hey, we're connecting with the people, please. <laughs> That's my demo user, and she has good taste and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, my favorite episode from South. Sorry, Sarah. Um, big changes. So we've been working on this version for about six months and um, No Sleep Till Brooklyn was actually uh, what we had for the past month or so. Um, so the changes we've made, I assume uh, most of you here know the previous version, so this is a big departure for us. So we tried to make things uh, simpler, so we took out the menu that was hidden there on the left and put it right in front of you so you have the main section of Voxy uh, for you to navigate to quickly. The feed that you're seeing right here, that is stuff that is coming from your friends. And you see that little bubble, and what we've introduced here, and you'll, you'll see it later, is the ability when you share something to also uh, say something about it. Um, so that feed right now come, is coming from Boxy Friends, but what you'll see in the beta is that if you put in your Twitter account, or you put in your Facebook account, and somebody that you're following on Twitter or that you're following on Facebook has shared something with you that is video related, that would pop up for you on the feed. Nice. It is nice. <laughs> Featured is our own curation of the stuff that we think is cool. We're not getting paid for it yet. Uh, so it's just stuff that we think is cool. So we'll promote here um, specific content and specific applications um, that we think you should check out. And right here on the right is the queue. So the queue is a new feature in Boxy and that enables you to queue up stuff. So it's a list that um, you manage and you can put in there almost anything. So um, TV shows and movies and music and you can do it through Boxy. Almost anything that you touch on Boxy you can send to your queue. As well as we're going to introduce a small bookmarklet and there's a bunch of bookmarklet services that already integrate with Boxy. So we'll make it easier for them. So when you're surfing the web, if you're at work or at school, and you came across something that you want to check out later, you'll be able to just send it to your box if you. So we think it's pretty cool. So, movies. So what, what we've done with uh, movies and TV shows, you'll see soon as well, is that we put them all in one place. What we had in the alpha is that um, media was uh, you know, spread all around, so it was kind of hard to find. So now um, you have my movies, and you have the movie library, and you have search. So that comes from any source that Boxy works for. So this movie here specifically is available on Netflix. So we tell you it's available on Netflix, and you can read more about it. We've licensed metadata from IMDb. And Let's go! Oh, okay. um, so you can add it to your queue, you can say whether um, you watched it or you've not watched it, and if you watch it, obviously it's automatically being marked as watched, and that was one of the most requested features on Get Satisfaction. So when you go into your movie library, you can just say, you know, show me the stuff I've watched or something the stuff that I've not watched. Um, so that's movies. And what you see here popping up is a new global menu. And the global menu pops up every time you go back from one of the main sections and gives you quick access again to the main sections, as well as shortcuts. 
So that's again at least the two control. Your favorite applications or TV shows or folders that you have on your computer. And you can manage it right from here and move it around. And just for you to put whatever you like there. <coughs> yeah. And you can access uh, stuff like history, the stuff that you've watched. I'll go into TV shows. So in TV shows, um, there's my TV shows, and that's a list of shows that you're following. So we figured the use of movies and TV shows is a bit different. Movies, you search for something specific, or you want to see what's most popular, or what's new, and then you watch it, and then you're done. TV shows is something that you, you, know, you watch um, week over week, so you can create the list of your favorite TV shows, and you can also access the TV show library. And you can say most popular, or where it was recently added episodes, or you can say by genre. When you click on a TV show, you'll see all the episodes. I'm sorry, the internet is a bit slow, but um, so you'll see all the episodes that are available through Voxy um, for Dexter, where it's from, read about it. Um, and if you really like the show, then you can add it to your shows. And a nice cool feature about adding something to my shows is if there is a new episode posted for that show, that will automatically go into your queue. And shortcut, you know, I just edited it as a shortcut because I really like Dexter. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah likes it. Sarah Palin really likes Dexter. <laughs> Um, so here it is. Music. Um, we change music to be all based on ID free tags. And again, you can search. This one is searching right now only your uh, local library. So we don't. We didn't introduce uh, search across online music services, but we intend to do so in the future. I mean, we're working, working today with Pandora and Last FM, and we have We Are Hunted. Um, and a bunch of these, so uh, it begs that we do the integration. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Trousdale, cause right next to the narrow. But I'll be hood forever. I'm the new Sinatra. And since I made it here, I can make it anywhere. Yeah, they love me everywhere. I used to copy. We run out of place, I guess. Um, so there's people outside. Get on, yeah? Yeah. All right. So um, we we're very scared about doing this event in Brooklyn because we figured, you know, many people here are from industry and, you know, maybe they're in Manhattan and they finish the long day work and they say, no, we're going to cross the river, whatever. And we said, you know. <laughs> Uh, we need a long list of RSVPs. So we have over 2,000 people that RSVP'd for tonight, actually. Um, so apparently some cannot go in. The, the legal limit is 650. Um, you know, plain and safe, like the airlines. Overbooking. Um, so what we've done is we printed, we partnered with uh, Brooklyn Bowl. If anybody here has not been in Brooklyn Bowl, it's a really great venue. Yeah, it is. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I bowl like a hundred. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, last time I went to Brooklyn Bowl, my five-year-old beat me. It's true story. <laughs> So we printed out those tickets and people that couldn't make it in, um, we're going to connect with them later in Brooklyn Bowl and there's a free drink on us. Yeah, um, we didn't check it first with the investors, but we kept it. So uh, applications, um, in applications you can also search. Um, and um, what we've done with applications is now when you browse applications and you know, you click on one of them, you can immediately play with it, see if you like it. If you like it, you can add it to my apps. That's kind of a list of your favorite applications. If you really like it, then you can add a shortcut to it. Um, and we made it easier for third-party repositories. So there's probably about 300 boxy applications right now. About half of them are actually not 
uh, published by boxing, they're published, published by uh, users. 